Yolo everybody, so this is Monster Trigonometric Function Junior again, as I said, you will see this one again in your advanced functions in grade 12, and that's a little more difficult than this, and so that's why I'm calling this Junior. So for the tutorial, before we actually get to the hard questions, which are our boss, let's do the tutorial first. There are four skills, and the first skill is that the introduction of periodic function. So for the periodic function, basically what it means is that it has the repetitive pattern in the function. So let's take a look at that a little bit later with the actual graph so that it's, uh, it's easier for you to grasp the idea of it. And then the next term that we need to know is something called a cycle. It basically it means one complete repetition. So as I said, the periodic function has many, 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 many of these cycles, meaning many, many, many of these repetitions. And just one of them is called a cycle. And period is how long a cycle takes. Usually in real life is in time in the horizontal axis. Um, amplitude is how much much you fluctuate from the middle. So for example, if you have a tide and tide all always fluctuates up and down and up and down and whatever that height or the distance from your middle to the max or min is the fluctuation and we call that distance an amplitude. So let's take a look at the actual NPC to help us train this skill further. So the NPC periodic is my life. Find if this is a periodic function. If so, find the period and amplitude. So let's take a look at the training one and two and training one we have this graph and hopefully you notice this that from let's say six I have this repetition over there and then another one can go from zero and over there too as you can see this one the yellow one with the green one they look exactly the same in terms of the side length wise in terms of the height wise or the fluctuation wise they're exactly the same so they are identical meaning each represents a cycle of this periodic function which is consisted of the many of these repetitive cycles so yes it is a periodic function again the period is then how long it takes so when you do so choose the starting point and the ending point and basically you count how far the two parts or the two points are apart so so I'll call this negative 6 as the starting point and I'll call this uh, 0 as the ending point or you can actually just call 0 as the starting and then this positive 6 over there as the ending point but again it really doesn't matter so from negative 6 to 0 the distance is 6. The easiest way to think of is the ending point subtracting starting point, and that's basically 6. Amplitude is the fluctuation. So first, we need to find the middle of this graph since the fluctuation is from the middle, right? From the middle to the top or to the bottom. And the middle is basically the average of the high and the low and then you subtract it from the high or the low so the easiest way to do so in terms of the formula wise you subtract the minimum from the maximum so capital m representing the maximum subtract the lowercase m the minimal and then you divide it by two so in this case the highest point i can say is like around 1.8 subtracting the lowest point being negative 1.8 and then you divide it by 2, that is 1.8. So that's basically the fluctuation we call amplitude. Now the next training, tip training 2, this graph is not really periodic. There is not really the same cycle repeating over and over. You may see, oh, but this one's going up and down, up and down. Well, the cycle must be identical to another cycle. So the cycle over there is not really identical to this cycle or any of the cycles here are not even identical to each other. So this is not a periodic function. So this is no. No. therefore there is no period there is no amplitude okay so these are the examples of periodic function and the non-periodic function then the next npc that will help us is master of periodic and find the expected value of each based on the following graph again the periodic function has the cycle so it is a cyclic because of that each value repeat forever basically and as long as you find the pattern within it then you can actually anticipate what the next one will when the next value will happen so let's take a look at at this one it says determine f at 2 and then f at 5 so f at 2 here is basically the y value when x equals 2 and i find that value over there as the f at 2 so f at 2 equals basically 1 whereas f at 5 is then the y value when x is 5 and that is right there with the f at 5 in this case is 0 right that's easy and that's simple because we can see this on the graph problem is the next one it says predict the function f at 8 f at negative 10 and f at 14. So this one you have to use your brain a bit and the pattern.
add on here a bit. So let's take a look at this. As you can see, this one is periodic function that you actually see this pattern over there repeats, right? So this V-ish type of shape repeats. So it is periodic function, so it repeats. And then what we need to find is the period. So for the period, in this case, from this point to that point over there, the starting point over here, ending point over there, and that is in this case is a negative five to positive one. So the ending minus the starting, which is then six. And that means from, let's say for example, f at two, the same value will be repeated after the period of six. In this case, that means then f of two plus six, which is the period over there, that is actually equal to f at eight, right? Remember after each um, six in the x value, the same y value will be repeated because it is periodic function. And that means after the six one more time, which is another cycle, then this is also equal to f at eight plus six, which is then f at 14. Therefore, f at two is one that we found from the a. Therefore, f at eight is also one. f at 14 is also one. Now, since we can go towards the right side, we can also go backward towards the left side. So if the one cycle goes from two to eight in the right direction, and we can also go to the other direction by subtracting six because you're going backwards to the left side and that basically becomes f at negative 14 and if you go one more time it seems then it's going to be f at negative 10. Therefore, f at negative 10 is also equal to f at negative 2. Therefore, it is also 1. So hopefully you understand the basic concept of periodic function and the basic terminologies of what it means by cycle, period, or amplitude. Thanks for watching YOLO channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. I'll see you guys in the next skill.